Hello everyone, welcome back to Cracksoid. Today in this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth deep review of the new ROM available in the market known as Matrix ROM. This ROM is based on Android version 14 and has been gaining popularity recently. I'll be covering its various features, customizations and many more. Additionally, I'll explore any potential bugs in this ROM and also will address the burning question. Is Matrix ROM a clone of Shiadroid ROM? Stick around to find out. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, this is Matrix ROM based on Android version 14. If you look at the Android security patch, it is of November 1, 2023. I have installed this ROM on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, which is a MITOL device. It is important to note that this is an unofficial build and official release will be rolled out very soon. Safety Net Google Photo Stories So let's start by checking Safety Net status. I'll verify the Safety Net status to ensure the ROM's security compliance, which is crucial for various app functionalities. Safety Net has passed indicating that the ROM meets the necessary security standards. Regarding Google Photo Stories, the Matrix ROM provides an excellent benefit, unlimited stories for your Google Photos app. This means you can store and backup as many photos as you want without worrying about reaching any storage limits imposed by Google. It's a valuable feature, especially for those who heavily rely on Google Photos for their media storage and backup needs. Camera. The camera in this ROM is pretty cool. It's called the latest Leica camera and has loads of built-in stuff. It can take photos, videos, and even scan documents. Plus, it's got a pro mode where you can control things manually, like changing the white balance, focusing how you want with manual focus, adjusting the speed of the shutter, the ISO, and more. Wait, there's more. You can turn on things like focus peaking and even use sonogram, histogram, and audio zoom. These fancy things make your photos and videos look better and more professional. And when you jump into the more section, it's like finding a treasure trove of extra cool features. There are things like movie effects, long exposures, clone, director effects, and a bunch more. These are like the features you'd find on really expensive cameras used by professionals. It's like having the skills of a pro photographer or filmmaker right in your phone. Auto call recording. You know what? This Matrix ROM is a bit different. It doesn't have the usual Google phone dialer and messaging app. But you know what's cool about that? It lets you do auto call recording without those pesky recording announcements you usually get with Google dialers. This feature is super handy and something lots of people using custom ROMs really want by default on their phones. The Matrix ROM comes with this feature straight out of the box and that's pretty awesome. Wallpaper and Styles When it comes to wallpapers and styles, this ROM is packed with Android 14 goodies. It offers 8 different cool clock styles for your lock screen. You can change their colors and even tweak how intense the colors are. Plus, you are free to adjust the size to fit your liking. But here's something to note, this section doesn't include emoji wallpapers or AI wallpaper features. It's got plenty of other options, just not those particular ones. Launcher When you explore the launchers in this room, it's called the Matrix Home Launcher. In its setting, there are lots of neat options. Under Home Settings, you'll find things like double tap to sleep, wallpaper scrolling, zooming, and more. But I noticed something missing, there's no double tap to wake option. It turns out after digging around, I found it tucked away in the display settings. It seems like both tap to wake and tap to sleep should be together in one place for easier access. Moving to the recent section, there are a bunch of options you can turn on like clear all, kill apps, lens, pin app, screenshot and even staking your phone to clear all tasks. That last one might be handy for some folks, but honestly, I have never used the Seek to clear tasks feature in real life. Maybe it's something that could be useful for you. Lastly, in the miscellaneous section, there are two cool features. The first one is the use taskbar option, and then there's this really useful hidden and protected apps feature. It's great because it lets you hide and secure all your apps on the phone 
which can be pretty handy and it's available in this matrix room. Settings. Let's check out the settings in this room and it's pretty interesting. What's cool is that this room has a unique interface. Usually custom rooms all have a similar look but this one breaks that trend. It brings a whole new design with cool animations that feel really refreshing. Here's how the settings section looks like. And you can even directly access the wallpaper and style section just by tapping here. Not just that, you can also get to other settings quickly using shortcuts provided which is super convenient and saves time. Private DNS When you look for the private DNS settings, you'll find them in the network and internet settings. These settings offer a bunch of custom DNS options allowing you to easily connect to different DNS queries with just a single click. I find this feature personally very useful. If you're curious about private DNS and its uses, you can check out the detailed video available in the description section below. Clone apps. In the matrix room, you'll find the clone apps option inside the app setting. This feature is like a parallel space, allowing you to create clones of existing apps on your phone. For example, using this feature, you can have two separate Telegram apps, each with its own account. This cool feature isn't just limited to Telegram. You can do this with apps like WhatsApp, Messenger, Viber, Facebook, and many more. Battery settings. When you open the battery setting in the matrix room, you will notice a really pleasing animation. Within this section, you'll find various options like battery users details, battery saver mode, battery optimization settings, battery temperature, and additional battery overlays, including a battery widget option. I find it convenient that they have included the battery percentage option right here in the battery settings. However, I'm a bit disappointed because despite these useful options, there is no extreme battery saver feature in this section. In my opinion, the extreme battery saver is a crucial and highly needed feature on smartphones. Display settings. When you enter the display settings of this matrix room, most of the features are the same old ones like adaptive brightness and others. However, when you go to the dark theme section, you'll notice a new interface. It shows which mode you are currently using and allows you to switch between the light and dark modes by simply tapping a button. One interesting addition here is the pure black custom theme which makes everything look really dark. If you're concerned about having only one custom theme option, don't worry, there's an advanced theme engine available in the matrix settings. Security settings. When you go to the security setting, you will find options for both fingerprint and face unlock features. Additionally, you can access privacy settings from here, which are incredibly useful for controlling your privacy preferences. With Android 14, there are enhanced security features and optimizations that ensure a more secure and optimized privacy experience. Gesture settings. Inside the system setting, you'll spot the gesture settings which seem a bit different from Android 13 rooms. Some options like the swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot have been removed. Talking about the gesture setting, there's a new addition called lift to check phone. This feature is supposed to show the time notification and other info when you pick up your phone. However, on my device, this feature is not working at the moment. So I won't delve deeper into this functionality for now. Matrix settings. Inside the matrix setting, which could be called the customization center of this room, you'll find an abundance of options to personalize your experience. For instance, in the button setting, there is a feature called click to partial screenshots. You can also customize the power menu button, offering choices like advanced restart and secured lock screen option. Moving to lock screen settings, you'll find clock font style options presenting a whopping 82 different clock fonts. Each font is unique and cool, giving you plenty of choices. Scroll further down and you'll discover gesture options such as fingerprint authentication vibration, ripple effect, and the ability to enable or disable the power menu button on the secure lock screen. Disabling these options prevents the power button from working on the lock screen when a password is set. In the miscellaneous setting, you will encounter some very useful options like game space, unlocking higher FPS in games, unlimited photo stories, Netflix poof and even the swipe three fingers down to take a screenshot feature which is hidden within this section. The matrix room offers a tons of customization options covering navigation, quick settings, sound, status bar and user interface settings. 
It's jam-packed with an extensive array of customization possibilities. If you're seeking an Android 14 based custom ROM loaded with up and down customization features, this ROM could be an excellent choice for you. Not many Android 14 ROMs provides this level of customization as of now. Bugs Addressing the box section, it's essential to note that yes, there are some minor bugs in this specific version of this room. These bugs are not major issues, so they shouldn't significantly affect your overall experience using this room. The first bug I encountered is in the settings main menu. Tapping on the bar icon redirects you to the wallpaper and style section, which is fine. However, tapping on the profile icon closes the settings menu, which isn't quite satisfying. It's a minor inconvenience rather than a major issue. Moving to another bug found in the camera app, while the camera works perfectly for taking photos and videos, the vlog and short film options within the camera app does not function properly. When attempting to access them, an error message pops up saying that cannot connect to camera, leading to the shutdown of the camera app. The third bug I discovered is related to the battery settings. Although I initially praised the inclusion of the battery percentage option within the battery settings for its convenience, it seems that this feature does not work at all. It's like a non-functional button. To enable the battery percentage, you need to navigate deeper into the status bar settings, which are within the matrix settings. Furthermore, after doing deep research into this ROM, I noticed striking similarities between this Matrix ROM and the Android ROM. Upon installing the latest Android 14 Android ROM on another device, I observed identical animations and similar settings across both ROMs. And not only this, even the wallpaper and style sections are almost identical except for the main Matrix wallpaper. Overall, this Matrix ROM appears almost identical to CR Droid in various aspects, so you can anticipate a similar level of performance and user experience as seen in CR Droid ROM. So that's a wrap on this latest Matrix ROM. I have covered everything about this ROM in this video. And after using it for several days, my initial impression is not bad. Yes, there are some minor bugs, but if it does not bother you much, you can use this ROM as a daily driver. I have used it for social medias, YouTube and other normal activities and haven't faced any major problem. If I come across any other issues, then I'll keep you updated. It might not be the fastest ROM out there, but it is definitely reliable for daily use. So thank you so much for watching this video till the end and if you like my video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksword YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!